I'll open with this, guys. You are the biggest she ever had when she's with you, and she believes it. You're the smallest she ever had when she leaves, and she believes it. Does that make sense? So, when you're dating a girl, if you're doing all these things naturally that she likes, which is the reason she's dating you, she's going to stay with you, and she's going to be the happiest she ever was. When she leaves, you are a distorted nightmare of what you were to her. Feelings rule everything in this world with women, and attention is a currency of women. So when she leaves, she's going to make a dystopian view of you, regardless if you did it or not. If you did it, it's going to be even worse. If, it's go if, if you were a jerk that didn't pick your clothes up, uh, you cheated on her. I mean, she's going to be with us. Well, I don't know. Probably. He was probably cheating. I mean, I don't know. And then the friends just believe it. But here's the thing, though. It can work in a positive way or a negative way for you. Now, when you break up, any kind of personal things in your life is aired out to everyone. Because she's going to tell her friends and her friends are going to tell everybody. And by everybody, I mean their boyfriends and husbands. So if you have a close group of friends, she's going to air out all of your personal stuff to them. So if you have anything embarrassing, it's going to come out. Now, here's the kicker. Let's say that you get a new girl and the old girl is airing out everything that anybody she can find and she's trying to find connections to you because that's what girls do when they get mad and get bitter they weaponize that rage uh because men fight with their fists women fight with their words they go after reputation destruction okay that's the reason women say men are more violent than uh than women because it's true they're more violent with their hands but they're verbally violent and nowadays, a woman can write one Facebook post and ruin your career. It doesn't have to be true. Ask me how I know. So, they will go after any kind of connections they can find you and try to ruin your reputation. At the same time, they're trying to get you back. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to make sense to them in the moment. So, if you've got any kind of personal things... Make sure that you only let them know about things casually on and off after like a two-year period. You say, two years is a long time. Yeah, it is. So it's a lifetime. So if you're planning on being with them for a lifetime, two years is not very long. Okay? And two years is usually when you find out everybody's true habits about things. It takes about 18 months for that honeymoon period to fall off. So make sure that you're not airing out all that personal stuff until later on. Now... There's not really anything you can do about that. All you can do is make sure that you're you're not a piece of crap that does weird stuff. Okay, that's about the only thing you can do. Because like in my TikTok I made earlier, there's a story time of I was messing around with this girl for a short period of time, just a couple weeks, and she had just voluntarily vomited all this information about these guys that I knew personally, embarrassing stuff about them. Like it was nothing. And I'm sitting there like, wow, wow. And it was an eye opener for me because I was like, if you're into weird stuff, it's going to come out. If you do things that may be slightly embarrassing, it's going to come out. So when I'm with women, probably the only embarrassing thing is be that I watch anime sometimes. So go for it. So does millions of people. It's a billion dollar industry. So, good luck with that. Because they're going to take one look at me, and they're going to go, I can deal with them Japanese cartoons. So, that's something that you got to understand. The currency of women is attention. If they're not getting it from you after in, in the breakup, then they will get it from other people. And by attention, I mean they will start vomiting up information about you. So, make sure that you've got a, a handle on things or it's going to get real bad real fast, guys. See ya.